Hey, 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 it's Dr. Dawn and welcome to Mystical Monday. I will be your host tonight, or shall I say your guide tonight, as we navigate through some more mystical concepts that will be beneficial to us while we are on our journey here on planet Earth. I am Dr. Dawn. I am an intuitive guide and spiritual messenger. And what that means is I am the go-between between between the spiritual realm and the physical realm. I'm the one in the middle relaying information to the collective from the divine, or in most instances in my one-on-one sessions, I am relaying information from your spirit team to you um, in terms of information that can help and assist you where you are on your journey in this moment. But tonight, I have information, not for one-on-one, but that is specific to the entire collective on this 1212 Mystical Monday. So I want to point out that it is 12-12-22, and those numbers have significance. Whenever we have repeated numbers such as 12-12, you better believe there's a meaning attached to it. Why is there a meaning? because we know that we are functioning and living in the quantum field. What does the quantum field consist of? Numbers and number sequences. It's what makes the grid function. It's what allows us to have the playing field or the game board to be able to um, maneuver on. So when there are repeated numbers, let's, you need to look for the message that is being given to you in that moment, because Repeated numbers are an indication, hey, I'm telling them, telling you the same number sequence over and over and over. So there is a message in it. So let's look at the message be- behind 1212, okay? Whenever we see 1212, we know that it represents prosperity, it represents contentment, and it represents joy. Yay! Um, usually if you see these numbers, it means you've reached that level in your life, or guess what? You're about to reach it. Okay. It could also mean that you are waking up. You're being asked to have a wake up call to make some changes in your current perspective so that you can move towards this life of joy, prosperity, and contentment. Okay. Which one are you? Are you there already? Do you feel like it's you're on the cusp of it? You're right there and it's getting ready to come? Or do you feel as if you're not even where you want to be and your thoughts and your outlook is shady, and you can't figure out why your perspective is being so jaded at the moment. Regardless of where you are, 1212 gives you the confirmation you're moving towards your heart's desires, you're in the frequency and energy of it, you just merely either need to flow and wait on it and move towards it, or make a couple of adjustments in how you're seeing and perceiving things that are happening around you so that these things can come to you. Remember, anytime you are perceiving something as being negative, bad, or just not good, understand it's in place to assist you to move towards where you're going. Change your perspective, change your outlook on it, change the way you are deciphering and interpreting the information and it will move you forward, okay? And thrust you into the momentum of going in the direction of your heart's desires, okay? So that's first and foremost. 12, 12, 22. Not a coincidence that this mystical Monday fell on this particular day because this message was needed to be shared to the collective at this moment so that we can all move forward. All right. Okay. So let me start. Let, let's get into this tonight. Let's get into it. That's my favorite phase phrase now. Get into it. So I posted um, on TikTok last week, I posted a video on that transfer portal thing that everybody was talking about as it related to Coach Prime and the students at the University of Colorado, the football players and football players transferring to Colorado through the transfer portal, because that's what everybody was talking about, right? And so me, 
not being into football really, and hearing all these people talk about a transfer portal, a transfer portal, all I kept hearing was transfer and portal. So because I'm spiritually inclined, those words have a different meaning for me. They have not, they are not synonymous with football and, and football players trying to get on a team. I have no point of reference for that. So I was getting excited that everybody was talking about transfers and port transferring in and out of portals because hey, that's what I've been trying to like reinforce for some time now because I do it quite often. Transfer in and out through portals, through planes, through dimensions, through my experiences. So I was thinking, wow, these words are getting repeated on the planet now. So everybody's getting in it. And so then I was told by someone like, no, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about it in reference to football. So then I say, you know what, this would be a good topic of discussion because I'm always saying as above, so below, but I don't think what people, I don't think that people understand what I truly mean by that phrase as above, so below. So in this third dimensional way of thinking, the transfer portal is referring to um, a physical reference to an action that is taking place on this planet in reference to football players transferring to the University of Colorado. That's down below it. As above, so below. That's below what's happening. Above, the frequency is shifting and elevating to where portals are being opened across dimensions so that not just the, the beings um, at the higher frequencies, but also us down here who are elevating and increasing our frequencies, we have the opportunity to go in and out of these portals, meaning we have the opportunities to travel across dimensions and through these portals for multiple galactic experiences in our human form. These portals are opening above. So, and it's affecting us here um, in our human form, whose consciousness is aware um, enough, has is extended enough, our consciousness are extended enough to where we are utilizing these portals in our human form, right? To expand our knowledge and awareness. So as that's happening above, it affects us down here, can't affect us in the same way because the frequency down here is not the same as above. So the way it's affecting us down here is through the talk of transfer portals in relation to football, see? As it's happening above, so is it being projected and imitated here below. Everything that happens above in the higher planes gets projected down to us in a lower frequency way, okay? So even though everybody down here has minimal awareness of like actual galactic portals and, you know, go, traveling through them, they are mimicking the effects of what's happening above through all of this interest in the transfer portals with the University of Colorado and the football team. Does this make, is this making sense to everybody? Are you seeing the correlation? Because this has always been the case when it comes to us being at war down here on the planet Earth, any country that's at war. It's usually a war up above in the higher planes somewhere, um, some disagreements happening across these star systems and galaxies that is projecting down below to us. Anytime there is a some type of crisis of some sort or any type of um, thing that's happening in the masses or in uh, the mainstream media that is evoking fear, there's something above that is um, the catalyst for that, that is projecting down here and having an after effect on us. So if that's a better way of looking at it, we get the after effect of kind of what's happening above. So anytime something is happening in this physical world, start to connect and become aware of what's happening in the phys in the spiritual realms, because it's paralleling. Usually it's projecting. So I'm in my spiritual mind. I'm seeing with my spiritual eyes. I'm moving in a spiritual manner so that as you guys are all talking about the transfer portals, I'm doing more shifting and transferring through the actual galactic portals because the energy down here is hyping up the energy of portal talk. Even though the portal talk is third dimensional, you're still in the energy of portals as a concept. 
of being used to transfer from one place to another. You're just transferring down here from one school to another. But in the galactic realm, you're transferring from one dimension to another. I love it, love it. If you guys didn't catch that hidden message last week, I wanted to make sure you got it tonight that as things are happening above, so are they projecting down below. As seen through this example with the transfer portal, always the mystical part of our experience just fascinates me now that I'm in tune and aware and um, my consciousness um, is so tapped into it. I'm always looking now to see how what's happening above is also happening down here. That's what, that's what I hope you do because it helps you as a spirit being to be able to be more in touch with the essence of who you are, with the essence of who you are. Now, remember those who don't have expanded consciousness, aren't going to get what I'm saying right now. It's going to go whoop, right over the head. Ain't going to make sense. Not going to seem real. They're going to be like, okay, girl. They're going to be like, well, she don't really know what she's talking about. But if your consciousness is expanded beyond, beyond this 3D earthly realm and concepts, this is going to resonate volumes with you, volumes. So much so that if you weren't aware, it's going to trigger and turn on and ignite something in you. So now you're going to be a walking, living, breathing, conscious um, being looking to connect the associations between the two planes or, or realms um, as it relates to the projections that's coming from up above to down here. Okay. Just understand that, as I said in my TikTok video, People don't know how you think. Do not allow other people to make you feel as if what you're saying is way out there or doesn't make sense. That's why I did the video. So that those who had no point of reference for what I was saying would at least have the exposure and the imprint in their soul as a reference to come back to when or if they get to the point that their soul starts to extend in consciousness, okay? That's why I do what I do. I don't do it for likes or to be popular or who's gonna follow me or who's gonna be the most. Nope, I do it to increase awareness. Even when you're not in that place, you will have a place of awareness. You still have a point of reference for when things start to click and ignite, all right? So since we're talking about as above, so below, let's do a review, okay? Because you can never review this too much because the more you increase in consciousness, the more you hear information, it sounds differently from the time you heard it before because now your consciousness is expanded and you can grasp more of the concepts um, a little deeper and they're more meaningful for you. So tonight, let's talk about the earthly plane the astral plane. Let's just go through those a little bit more because those can always, we can always tweak those in terms of our understandings, right? Okay, so the earthly realm or earthly plane. Let's say the earthly plane. Well, first, let, let me back up. Let me say something else um, because when we talk about going to another dimension or traveling through dimensions, everybody's trying to get from the third to at least the fifth, right? We look at it as if we are traveling to another dimension. We're not traveling to another dimension we're traveling through another dimension okay not to but through so when i am doing my sessions okay here in this third fourth dimensional realm i'm traveling through the fifth dimension and sometimes higher to get information to pull down to the collective so i'm traveling through not to so in my travels through, you can say that the earthly plane, this is the plane of attachments, the plane of cravings, and the cra and the plane of death, the le life death cycle, okay? That's what we do on this earthly plane. That's what makes us special because we have the whole death thing, right? So on this plane, um, we are functioning obviously at a lower vibration because we have attachments. You know, the higher up you go, you ain't got no attachments to nothing. You're pretty much free. So when we're down here and we're learning and um, trying to understand the concepts that are, remember, we're on a blueprint down here. It's almost like you're disconnected when you get here from the source of who you are. You're right here at the top. You're at the starting point. And then you have this blueprint of all the steps you're going to take while you're down here. 
all the different paths to get you back to this beginning part of your remembrance, where you started from. And so while we're traveling our blueprint on this earthly plane, um, we may encompass or we may experience the astral realm or the astral plane. A lot of people now are traveling to the astral plane. That would be like the second, the next plane up from the earthly plane. And so um, the astral plane has lower and higher dimensions. Okay, let's, let me, let me see. Let's see if we can, um, let me, let's do the astral plane a little different. Okay, so we have the earthly plane, which is here. Then we have the astral plane, which we can say is kind of above it. And in the astral plane, we travel. Remember, we don't travel to it. We travel through it. And this astral plane consists of our belief system. Okay. So your belief system generates what your astral plane experience is. So like, for example, some people believe that there's no such thing as anything that happens after you die. Like just nothing happens. You just die and that's it. So when they have their astral plane experience, they may experience what's considered darkness because they don't believe that anything comes after it. Now, some people believe that as you die, you leave this physical body and you travel into a higher dimension and a higher plane, okay? A plane that was lighter and more freer than this earthly plane, okay? That's where you go to in your astral plane experience, a little bit of a higher frequency. So where you go in the next realm or experience is contingent upon your beliefs in this experience, if that makes sense to you guys, okay? Because you're creating, remember, we're co-creating our experiences all the time. And if we're co-creating in, in this experience, like for myself, I believe that when I pass away, I leave this avatar, this avatar drops down off me. I step up out of my avatar into my spiritual self and I go on to the higher dimensional planes to resume living my high vibrational life as a higher frequency being. So that's what I'll experience, okay? For some people, there is the experience that, um, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting some information. Uh, some people believe in, sometimes that there's like um, a purgatory, you know, like you don't go up, you don't go down, you kind of sit, you kind of wait, then that's what you'll experience. You'll experience like this kind of a waiting period or this waiting kind of um, dimensional experience, okay? And then after the astral plane, a lot of people, which is, this is where I go a lot to communicate with my mom who is deceased. The next plane is the plane of illusion. Okay, you guys go there too. You just don't realize it in your dream sequence. You go here. This is like a peaceful earth-like setting. People actually live like in this realm, like in houses, um, they eat and drink. Um, they have an idealized version of earth. It's like earth, but not on steroids, but earth amped up in terms of frequency, right? And it's this pleasant, wonderful, heavenly place where you can have all your heart's desires, all your pleasures, your desires immediately manifest. You think it, you create it. It's immediate. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. This is really a mirror of your religious beliefs here on earth. Okay. Because a lot of us believe that the higher frequencies is where we can manifest quickly, right? So if that's your belief, when you get to this plane of illusion, honey, you will be able to do that immediately. All right. And so a lot of people um, also believe that during this point, this is where if you're Catholic, you believe that St. Peter will be waiting for you at the gate. This is that plane of illusion as well. This is that heavenly plane that you believe in. And so that's what will happen when you get to this plane of illusion, this, this third plane after the astral plane. And so this is the plane where all of your thoughts and desires kind of here on this earth plane really come into fruition. Now, let me clarify, because I think I told you guys that in relation to the astral plane. Okay. Let me, let me, let me clarify in the astral plane. It's like, it's the segue or the transition to get to this 
third plane of illusion. In this astral plane, this is where you kind of determine whether you're going to experience like a, like darkness, lower level vibrations, or higher level or frequency vibrations based upon if you believe in anything. Let's just say that because some people don't believe in nothing. This astral plane sometimes um, can be a little tricky uh, because since it's the gateway to this next plane, um, which is what I just was talking about, the, the plane of illusion, sometimes people get confused in terms of like where they are and kind of what's happening because it's the bridge that kind of carries you on over, so to speak. So this plane of illusion is where your beliefs start to come to the forefront. Your beliefs that you held um, true in your human experience will start to show themselves or appear. And usually it's based on religion because down here you either believe in some religion or you believe in nothing. Okay. So when I said this is where I go to visit my mother, this is the picturesque version of earth it's the same as what you're living in now but it's a higher frequency where the bodies are lighter somewhat lighter and things the energy is lighter but there's still the need to eat and drink and to live like we're living now in houses and things like that and so forth and so on okay Stay with me because I'm kind of going through these differently than I, I have before in terms of planes, all right? The next plane after the plane of illusion is that fourth plane, which is, it's kind of like the idealized world, okay? There's no beliefs, there's no reincarnation, that's not needed, um, there's no desire for earthly um, contact, and there's no desires for things like food or anything like that. That's in the fourth realm. Now, let, let's let's talk about that jump from the third, the plane of illusion to the fourth plane. In that plane of illusion is where your soul determines if it wants to go back to earth and grow, or if it has to learn more onto the fourth plane, if it has to learn more and it goes onto the fourth plane to do so. You either go back or you go forward. Most of the time in this plane of illusion that looks somewhat like earth, remember, you go, we talked about this in another video, instead of going towards the light, we go towards another direction, which is the darkness, which causes you not to reincarnate. You go to the fourth plane. If you want to repeat and go back to earth and learn some more lessons so your soul can grow, you go over here to this light. This is the, this is the situation where you do this between the third and the fourth plane. When you get to that third plane, which kind of looks like earth, you hang out, you see your loved ones that have passed away um, prior to you leaving, you chit chat, you communicate, you do all that, you do a life review, you determine, are you going to go back or are you going to keep going to the fourth plane? This is where you make that decision between the third and the fourth plane. All right. Let's say you decide not to come back. You're not coming back to the earthly plane. You want to keep it on going to that fourth. Okay. When you get to that fourth plane, there's no need to reincarnate because beliefs and all of that is just not needed. It doesn't exist. There's no desire for earth. There's no contact. There's no, there's no food. There's no liquid. There's nothing. Your functioning as a spirit and soul being is e elevated in this fourth. Okay. In this fourth dimension, um, your soul is free from all of the structures, the intellectual structures that we have or that we've been conditioned to here on the earthly plane, all right? So then look, you move on towards the fifth plane after that. This is where your soul, okay, takes on the body that look, body of a flame. You actually look like a flame, honey, like a little fire, like energy, um, um, uh, like not combusting, but, but, but shining a little bit like a flame. And so you travel throughout the universe. Uh, my husband often says, you know, he goes, I'm not, you know, going to any planet. When I leave, I'm going to travel the earth. I'm going to travel the universe. I'm sorry, not the, about the earth. I'm going to travel the universe. He has remembrances of traveling throughout the galaxy, as some of you may, because maybe, you know, the fifth plane is where you've been able to um, uh, visit at some point or go back and forth through. So in this fifth plane, your soul takes on the body of a flame. And it travels through the universe, okay? Sometimes your soul, remember, your soul has imprints. 
So it can sometimes remember, have remembrances of where it's been and what it's done, okay? So then look, after you leave that fifth plane, you can go to the sixth plane, all right? And this plane exists, it's for evolved souls. It's where there's no need for matter or gravity. It exists as pure white light. It's in line with the creator. There's like no emotions present, none of that needed in this sixth plane, all right? Then we move to the seventh plane, which is that of the creator, which is God's source, which is equal to back to that beginning where you started from in your blueprint. You're back to the original source and being of who you are. Now, I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in this whole thing because I went through these things like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And remember, I told you we travel, uh, we don't travel to, we travel through these um, dimensions. But here's the catch. You exist on all of these dimensions simultaneously right now. I just took you through the earthly plane, the astral plane, the plane of illusion, the fourth plane, the fifth plane, the sixth plane, the seventh plane. You, you are on all of them right now, all of them. So when I'm telling you about going from this one, traveling to this one, through to this one, through to that one, through to that one, through to that one, through to that one, I'm telling you that from the concept of you're able to access yourself on all of these planes because you exist on all of them right now. Right now, you are living your life on this earthly plane. There's another version of you that is living in the astral plane. There's another version of you that's living in the plane of illusion. There's another version of you living in the fourth plane and a fifth plane and the sixth plane. And we know you're in the seventh because that is the essence of who you are, the source, God, a piece of God, the beginning. So you are having all of these experiences simultaneously, people. The reason we here say we're trying to get to the fifth, we're not actually trying to go to the fifth. We're not trying to travel to the fifth. We're trying to travel through these dimensional um, or through these planes to experience ourselves on that fifth, um, fifth plane, that fifth dimensional plane. Do you see? This is such a confusing concept sometimes that it's hard to... Um, hard to explain uh, a lot of times, but if you are, if you hear it at different levels of your awareness or consciousness, you're going to grasp it at different places each time. The first time I heard it, it was, I didn't make any sense. I was just like, I don't understand. I don't get it. The next time it kind of clicked a little bit, but it took about the fifth time before I could say, okay, I get it. I get it. And that's only because you guys, only because of the experiences that I'm having now, connecting with these beings across planes in my sessions, okay? Because I exist in, across planes to be able to interact with these beings. So I'm accessing energy, in, I mean, information from myself, really, from myself on other dimensional planes. This is some weird, this is some way out stuff, ain't it? I was going to say weird, but it ain't weird. It's just way out because it is not the norm for us. It is beyond our conditioned understanding and belief. And so tonight's um, Mystical Monday Live is actually pre-recorded, right? So I'm in the chat. I'm going to be in this chat tonight down below because I know there may be questions. So you guys feel free during this to ask me some questions. And if this information resonates with you or if it doesn't resonate, but it's interesting and you like it, please give me a thumbs up, okay? So we can get this information out to the, to the individuals who need it and who it may assist um, with their journey at this time, okay? Let's get the algorithm moving so that we can support the collective in this planetary involvement, okay? All right, so- we are understanding now, hold on, let me take a little sip of water. We are understanding now that we exist across planes, okay? We're not traveling to, we're traveling through. Now that you realize you're traveling through, astral 
travels um, should be a little different for you guys now. Now, a lot of people are traveling astrally. And if you don't understand what that means, it means traveling across planes to the astral plane. Remember, I told you guys after the earthly plane, the next plane is the astral plane. OK, it's the plane closest to us. It's not this dimension. It's not where we are. It's higher, but it's the next realm. People are freely and easily going back and forth now, back and forth now in their waking state and in their sleep state. All right. If you are doing this, don't be afraid of it because you're in alignment with the frequency and the upgrades that are allowing you to connect more with yourself on the astral plane. The part of you that exists already in the astral plane is literally calling you saying, come here, come here. Come on, come on, come on. I got something to tell you. You're literally following the guidance to come talk to yourself on a higher plane. A lot of us are being met by our spirit team when we travel to these planes. We're getting guidance. We're getting instructions. Um, a lot of us are getting comfort. You probably don't even realize it. And some of you may realize it. You may, in your sleep state, wake up with a feeling of confidence, with a feeling of being loved, with a feeling of awareness, with a feeling of knowing that, that better is coming and that something is happening. You may just wake up with this and not realize that you've traveled astrally to obtain this information. All right, that's in your sleep state. Some of us are experiencing it, like myself, in your waking state. You can walk from room to room and you can notice subtle changes in the room as if somebody's moved something or the energy in the room is different or it feels as if time changed when you left one room and went to a next. You're traveling astrally in your waking state. It's okay because remember, there's a you that exists on a higher plane. In that astral plane, which is the next highest plane from where we are, you're really connecting with yourself in that plane a lot and you don't realize it. So when you have those moments, and I always use this example because I can always tell when myself in the astral plane is kind of doing some things energetically that is affecting my body here. If you are walking and you suddenly, your knee gives out or your ankle uh, gets weak or you feel as if um, some people are having temporary blindness, like you can't see for a second or two and then it comes back. Think about yourself in the astral plane, what the heck you're doing up there. Because remember, just as I started out with this um, live tonight, it totally runs in correlation with the as above, so below. Because as you're doing above, you guys, it is affecting you below now significantly, almost to the point where I'm talking to my higher myself that exists in the astral plane, say, hey, stop. What are you doing? Like, quit. Like, you know, I'm getting a headache or you made my leg give out or, you know, my foot hurts because I know that it's directly correlated to something I'm doing in another plane. So when you become aware and you can talk through it, remember, just like I'm talking to myself here, myself in other planes may hear that guidance or may feel that um, information and not know where it's coming from, but I am in direct connection with my soul on all levels at all times, as you are too. So if you guys are, um, remember now, we said sometimes during these upgrades that we're having right now, you may just cry out of the blue. You know, that's one of the signs of ascension, you know, just, you know, feeling labile, like you just are cry, you want to cry or you're sad. And we say, oh, that's feelings or suppressed emotions coming up to be dealt with, dealt with during the upgrade. Absolutely. But you got to realize it's two things happening. They're coming up to be dealt with um, in terms of the frequency, but they're also being magnified in the next realm. Um, and you're feeling the effects of it here. Okay. So you got multiple things happening with your upgrades and your ascension here, your ascension here. Remember you exist on all planes. You ascend in this plane, you're ascending on the next plane. You ascend in the next plane, you're ascending. On, you're moving your frequency across the plane. You're shifting it. You're shifting it at every level of your, your soul's existence. All right? So 
It's like all for one, one for all. If one moves, every they all move. Everybody shifts. So sometimes you may feel like I always explain how people say um, things happen out of the blue or, you know, the, no, it don't happen out of the blue. It was created possibly on another plane as a result of what your soul is trying to accomplish across planes. All of this is like all interconnected. You know, this, this journey um, that we're on, you guys, is so fascinating. Uh, the fact that we're being privy now to the inner workings of a lot of it, um, I would say it almost takes the fun out of it, but I don't think so. I think the fun has just begun now that we are starting to become aware and get into what's happening with us and how it's happening. And we can be more involved in like what's going down in terms of our um, journeys and our evolution. But the thing is, it has to resonate with you. It will only resonate with you when or if you have experiences that support this information. See, I could tell you guys about my experience all day long, but it's not going to mean anything until you experience it, which is what's happening or what's coming when you become open to it. So for all of you who are watching, it's not resonating, not clicking. It sounds like nonsense. It's only because you haven't had that experience. For those of you who have had a similar experience and you don't quite agree with everything I'm saying, that's okay too, because you can't agree with every single thing because your experience is not identical to mine. So even though we're existing all on this same plane, remember you're existing on multiple planes and you're having different experiences. Your soul is across planes. So you're never ever going to be a direct match for any one philosophy um, uh, or um, meaning or doctrine or an experience. You can't be, there's no way we can all be on one accord based off of one experience. We can't. We can all have similar experiences with explanation and preparedness and awareness. That's what we're doing. That's all we're trying to do here is to have an awareness so that we're prepared when these experiences, however they come and however individualized they are, come to us. Because I am telling you guys this because they are coming. These experiences are coming and they're coming fast. Understand, we, we celebrate the beginning of the year, January 1st on the planet Earth. Well, here, on in, in at least in the United States, right? Or, well, no, we do it on the planet. The exact beginning of the year is the beginning of the zodiac you guys and what is the beginning of the zodiac aries when is the aries sign in play march so the beginning of our kind of our universal kind of year here is really in march so that's about the time a lot of what i'm saying to you guys is going to hit and hit full blast okay we're getting prepared for Ascension 2023, like I talked about last week and some things that are to come, but we're clarifying information now. We're clarifying so that as you advance in your expanded consciousness, the more you hear this information, the more it's going to hit differently. It's going to hit differently every time you hear it because your consciousness is going to change and interpret it different. So we're going to be going through all of these interpretations um, and um, explanations so that when you have the experiences, they will hit, they will register, and they will be very beneficial to where you are in your journey. And you will see the movement that you are desiring, um, especially as it relates to your blueprint. I just love using that word blueprint, y'all. We all have a blueprint that is literally laid out and says, here, 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 here. Like, which way are you going next? And this is what you're going to experience next. Like, it's all laid out. But guess what? 
There is no direct path. You can go any which direction you want to get to where you're going. That's the wonderfulness of this free will thing. So I just want everybody to be aware and tapped in so that you're always moving where you want to go without resistance or fear, okay? All right, so I hope this clarified some things for you guys as it relates to the difference in the planes. Um, it's uh, In the beginning, I know I was. it sounded like I was overlapping. I was trying to clarify and get clear, but hopefully if there was some confusion or you guys have questions, you will have asked them or put them in the comments section because I love to get the questions because I like to answer them. I love the interaction with you guys. That's why I do this. So when you guys don't comment or you don't question, I feel as if I'm not assisting you in the best way possible. So please share, even if you don't have a question, give a comment. I mean, just let me know you're there and you're breathing and you are in this, in this soul journey um, here on this mystical Monday with me, okay? All right, I want you guys to know um, tonight's session will be a lit, this was a little short just because I wanted to hit on those main things. And most of all, I just want to, get you guys to be aware of what's happening around you on the planet at all times and looking at it from a perspective of if this is happening here, what is happening above in the higher dimensional planes? And then more so start asking yourself, what am I doing in the other realms? Like, am I working or do I, am I, um, do I have a career or am I, how am I contributing you know, to uh, uh, in a life of service or am I contributing in a life of service and what am I doing? And what start asking your soul to reveal to you what you're doing across the planes and your soul will do it. Your soul will put you in connection with you on other planes. All you merely have to do is ask you guys, your soul is here to assist you and guide you. Your inner GPS is activated. As soon as you come here, it's on, game on. So start using your inner resources to help guide and assist you as you navigate. It's all part of it. You were never meant to be down here alone. You were never meant to feel as if you had no guidance and assistance. You have more than enough at your fingertips. You merely have to ask and use it. OK, so remember on this 12, 12, even if you're watching the replay, even though this is going to air on 12, 12, if you're watching the replay it's still meant for you to hear this 12, 12, 12, 12 energy resonates beyond the actual day. It resonates beyond like um, um, like what day or time you see it. If your energy brings you to this video, whether it's 12, 12 or not, the message is for you. And remember, you guys. That 12, 12, 22 represents prosperity, contentment, and joy. You're either in it now and you experience it, or it's right around the corner. Here it comes, or you are blocking it because you, um, your perspective needs a little bit of a shift and a little altering in what you're thinking and believing so that all of those things can come to you. Remember that, okay? All right. That's going to be it for tonight on Mystical Monday. I will be back next Monday with you guys with another mystical concept so that we can continue to grow and evolve together and that we so we can increase our awareness as we move on this journey. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if this information resonated with you or if you just enjoyed hearing it and if you didn't, that's okay too. But just respond or comment in some way, shape, or form. We need this algorithm to move forward so that more individuals can be exposed to this information. And if you really like this information, please make sure to subscribe and share the video. Okay, this is Dr. Dawn. You guys remember to follow me on all social media platforms at Discovering Your Inner Light, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, you name it. I'm trying to get on it so that I can be 
that light that I signed up to be prior to incarnating here and, and fulfill my soul's journey, okay? While I'm on this earthly plane. You guys take care. Much love and light. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.